Investigators have been busy all morning long in Orange County. First in Orlando, a man called police while driving on the 408 saying he was shot. Then Orange County deputies got a call about that suspicious death in Pine Hills. News 6 reporter Matt Patrillo live at that latest scene for us this afternoon. So Matt, what are you learning about what happened there? Well, investigators with the Orange County Sheriff's Office got a call around four this morning of shots fired at this home behind me. They've been out here ever since. You can still see crime tape is wrapped around the home. This all started after a neighbor heard gunshots, looked out their window and saw a man lying on the grass. Neighbor said they heard shots, one, possibly multiple shots fired. Shots fired and later one man found dead. But Jeff Williamson with the Orange County Sheriff's Office stopped short of calling what happened here on Denton Drive murder. At this point, he says it looks like a suspicious death. At the scene, two black males were seen fleeing the area. We are looking for those individuals. Williamson says detectives arrived here in Pine Hills around 340 this morning after neighbors heard gunfire and dialed 911. But investigators are not sure what led up to the shots fired. There's no description of arguing or yelling or anything like that. The call to authorities here came shortly after a man was found with a gunshot wound near Lake Lucerne in downtown Orlando. Now Orlando police and the Orange County Sheriff's Office are working together to see if the two incidents are related. We are looking into that being a part of this incident. Just not sure right now. And we don't know that man's condition, but detectives say the victim who died from the shooting here on Dunson Avenue is a man in his 20s. They're not releasing his name until family is notified, but they ask if you know anything about either of those incidents to call Crime Line. Justin? Matt Patrill, Live Force. Thank you, Matt. And of course, stay with News 6 throughout the day as we learn more about this death investigation. You can get the latest on air starting at 4 and on ClickOrlando.com.